Hello, and welcome to another Radiopedia tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to create and upload a new article. When searching for an article on a particular subject on Radiopedia, you'll sometimes come across a gray link. This means that, although the link exists, the article itself currently doesn't. Clicking on a gray link will lead you to a page that tells you that the article doesn't exist yet. It lists existing articles that may cover the same information. Make sure to check that none of these related articles already include the content you wish to add. If you see that the topic is already covered, then the best thing to do is to update the gray link so that it points to the correct article. We'll show you how later in this video. If a new article is needed, click the Create New Article link. If you're not already logged in, you will be prompted to log in, after which you will be taken to the Create Article page. If you are already logged in, the Add Article tab on Radiopedia can also lead you directly to this page. Begin creating a new article by entering a title. In this case, we will write Pile Arteriovenous Fistula. Additions to the title, such as synonyms and acronyms, can be added below in the Synonyms or Alternate Spellings box. It helps to have our style guide handy when entering an article. This will give you important information on how to use our standard formatting. Here you can see the sections needed for a standard article. The first is the introduction, including the title in bold. We'll use the plural for the title, as we're discussing all cases of this kind, as the style guide suggests. We should now include some information about terminology and epidemiology. When creating a heading, you can highlight the heading title and select a style from the drop-down menu to create a proper heading. The main content of the article will likely come from an outside journal article, and naturally we'll need to add a citation for all of the information we include. Copy the URL of the article you wish to draw from, paste it into the References box, and click Format Citation. This will take a few seconds, after which you should type and select the relevant citation number, and make it superscript by clicking the button above. Clicking the chain link icon above will also allow you to include a link within the article to other relevant Radiopedia articles. Moving to the epidemiology section, we can repeat the process of adding citations and links along with the pertinent information. Our next section will be radiographic features. Once again, we will create the content and add citations and links as needed. Please keep in mind that you should never copy and paste content into an article. It is very important that the content you add is in your own words, even if it is based on other work. Be sure to cite everything properly. Now that our content is all written, we have the option to file it into a particular anatomical or pathophysiological section using the system drop-down window. This article will live in the central nervous system section. As you are working on the article, it's smart to save often as you go along so as not to lose your work. You can do this by clicking Save and Continue. Please be aware that articles will not save automatically. Since we've just finished with our article, we will click Save and Finish. This will take us to our newly created article, which will now appear in search results. Bear in mind that articles are collaborative, and your colleagues will be able to add to and edit this content. That's all for this tutorial on adding a new article to Radiopedia. We hope this has been useful for you and that you can now easily add content to the site. Thanks for watching.